inverse of the matrix. Find the inverse of the matrix of order 3 by 3, 3 rows and 3 columns. For finding the inverse of this matrix, we write as an augmented matrix form. It means the same matrix entries, and here we put along with a unit matrix of the same order, 3 by 3 order. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, we will convert the first matrix into an identity matrix by applying row operations. When this becomes identity matrix, we will obtain an inverse of the given matrix in this part. For this one, we know we want here 1. First entry in the first row must be 1. For this, we write R1 minus R2. That is, we subtract this one. Second row, we subtract from first row. So, when we are subtracting, we get here negative 1, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1 and 0. Remember, the operation we are applying here, the same operation we are applying on this part. Then we can obtain a new matrix in its place and that matrix will be inverse of the given matrix. So what are we doing first? We subtract 2 minus 3, you can see negative 1. 1 minus 2, negative 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 0, 1. No change here. 0 minus 1, negative 1. 0 minus 0, 0. No change. So we obtain this row. We are writing here R1 minus R2, it means change will come in R1. Now, secondly, rest of the rows we are writing as it is. They stay as it is. Then, our next target is to make this number 1. This is that given, not 1 yet. So, how to get 1 over here? Either we divide this row by that 1 or we multiply it by negative 1. So I multiply R1 by negative 1. Okay? When we multiply R1 by negative 1, all sign will be changed because of negative. This becomes plus and you can see only signs are different because we are multiplying by negative 1. So in this way we have got 1 at the first place. Second, we need zeros below this number. 1 is here, below we need zeros. So we can apply the second operation here. Multiply this one by 3 and add over here. Because negative 3 plus 3 will give you 0. So we write R2 plus 3 R1. Look please. R2 plus 3 R1. Multiply this by 3. If you multiply by 3, this is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3, 0. I multiply this by 3. Negative 3 plus 2, negative 1. I multiply by 3, no change, and add over here. Multiply by negative 3 plus 3, and you can find out other numbers. Now here, we got these numbers after addition. Next step, we want here 0. How to get 0? Multiply this row by 2. If we multiply this by 2, this becomes negative 2. Negative 2, we add here, this becomes 0. Okay. Now, we multiply by 2, so this becomes negative 2 and add over here, this gives you negative 1. This 0 has no effect, we are adding. Then, we multiply by 2, 2 plus 0. Minus 2 plus 0 and same is over here. So we get this end here. You can see below 1 we have 0, 0. Our next target is this number. We want 1 over here. Now see how to get 1. Negative 1 is there. If negative 1 is there, very easy to find out 1. Because we can multiply it by negative 1. We can divide it by negative. Okay, I multiply it by negative 1. So, if I multiply, all sign will be changed. 
rest of the entries stay arrays, don't discard. I'm going only one step here, but to provide the active one, and you can see only signs are different. Rest of the entries in row one and row two are same. Now, our next target is, this is one, good. Next target is to get zero above and below the number one. By applying no objection. So look, if I subtract this one from this, can we get zero here? Yes, we can get it. And if I add over here, can I get zero? Can we find zero? Yes. So this operation I perform. I write R1 minus R2. R1, you can see R1 minus R2. First operation. So add over here. Don't disturb the zero. This stays the same, this you are adding, this comes, uh, uh, subtracting, this comes 0. And this comes 1. And then you are subtracting from this one, subtracting from this one, and you are getting these numbers. Okay? There is no change in this R2. R2 will be the same. R2 stays as it is, without any change. Now, we are subtracting. We are, sorry, adding this one here. If you add here inactive one plus one zero. Two minus one, one. Two minus three minus one. Minus two plus two zero. One plus zero, one. I mean these numbers of the second row numbers are adding in the third row. Add here. What answers are coming? We put over there. We are lucky. We got one more one in the next row. Two zeros are there, and then we got one. Another good thing is one, two zeros below. This one above and below we have zeros because we need them. Now, the one requirement is now if there are numbers above, there should be zeros. So I made zero here and here. How to get? If I add, this becomes zero. If I subtract, this becomes C. So I perform this operation R1 minus R3. From this row, we subtract this row. So you can see because zero you are subtracting no effect. So I, if I subtract from this one, one minus one, this becomes zero. Two, two minus minus two minus negative like one. I mean two minus negative one. So this comes 3. So I am subtracting this from this. So negative 1 minus 0, no effect. Now this 0 minus 1. 0 like this. 0 minus 1. This gives you negative 1. Okay. We got here 0. Now to how to get 0 here? We are adding here. So R2 plus R3 add this number. Number. This number. 0, add this number, minus 4, add over here, 2, add this number here, 1. No change in this one. You can see all diagonal elements are 1, 1, 1. So diagonal is unit. If this is, all entries are, uh, all entries are 1, 1, 1, it means this is a unit matrix, identity matrix. This is identity matrix, I. So what is in this portion, this is the inverse of the given matrix A. The given matrix A is equal to this one. So its inverse, we can write A like this. A negative 1 is equal to this one. So the inverse of the matrix uh, is contained in these elements. Okay. This is how to find the inverse of the matrix of third order by taking Argumentary.